Alright, we just got down here to the woods. We're gonna turn this trailer around. We're gonna be cutting all this section here up. Getting it all up to the house. makeshift turnaround spot pretty steep good so this uh the sportsman 600 this four wheeler's got the best traction it just pulls the best i can pull quite a bit more weight it's just the way that the chassis set up i think the wheelbase is slightly longer than my 500 but it just uh the 500 really wants the wheelie whereas this one just kind of wants to squat down and pull as long as you got enough weight on the tongue We're gonna gas up this 880. I cut a little bit yesterday with it. I wanna get all this uh, bigger stuff cut here because it's nice and straight, straight grain. So it'll make a good foundation for my big tall piles that I can put some of the more crooked stuff on top. That's kinda my theory behind that. Just keeps the piles more stable. Might overfill that one a little bit. Oh, come on, there we go. 404, running a 7 tooth to get a little bit better chain life out of it. And cut, and cut a little bit more with the 7 tooth. It'll pull the 8 tooth just fine, but we're mainly after the chain durability here. Let's fire it up. Let it warm up for a second. Let it idle for a minute. Get all these ready to cut. I always like to cut all this stuff like this off. Cut. You know, like that little horn there, cut that stuff off because it just doesn't pile very nice as I can. All this is cut at 15 and a half. That's what I'm, the length that I'm cutting. I'll cut all these here too. These is kind of a crooked piece here, but we'll get it all.
kind of move these here get a good uh, angle to cut them stand all these other ones up so they're ready to split got to move them out of the way cut that horn off too I brought the 400C, I need to cut those other ones there off anyway, so I'll rip a little bit with the 400C to show you that. This saw will do it. It just doesn't do it as well as that 880, of course. 20 inch square ground chain. Full tank. couple of them that's what I like right there nice and easy I wanted one saw to do it all, this is the one that I'd buy. This seems to be able to do a little bit of everything. Light enough to be your main firewood saw, but also has enough power to do stuff like this. This takes a lot of power to cut them the other way.
good wood in these pieces here, even though they're slightly rotten. I'll still cut them. 